Hey guys, it's you and Everything Paddle and this is the best paddle rackets 2022. Over the last three months, I've been testing every paddle racket from the top brands that I could get my hands on. I now have got a list of the best for beginner, intermediate, advanced, best for control, power, design, comfort, and even tennis elbow. You name it, I've got it. I've also left links in the description for all of the rackets, so if you see one you like, you can check it out below. Let's get started. So let's start with the best paddle rackets for beginners. This is the Head Evo Delta 2022. It's got an oversized head shape with a massive sweet spot as well, so you can get tons of control. This is ideal for beginner and new players. It's also got a soft phone as well, so it prioritizes control and comfort. Also has fairly good power as well, because it has a power frame technology, and because the sweet spot's located slightly higher on the racket, you will get a good strike as well. So it's probably a well-balanced racket for those beginner players that want to learn all aspects of the game with comfort, control, and power. Right, I'm on court with the head Evo Zelda 2022. This is the best for beginners in my opinion, so let's see how it's going to perform. Ah, so I'm feeling nice control here. It's good for lobs. <laughs> You can play your ground strokes nicely. Ideal for beginner players here. Decent power as well if you want to attack the ball. This one ticks all the boxes for beginner players. Not too much to say on it apart from it being easy to use, comfortable and good control. Well worth checking out. Next up is the best paddle racket for intermediate players. This is the Dunlop Aerostar Lite. It's a diamond shaped racket with the sweet spot near the top of the racket. It feels fairly lightweight. It feels good in my hand right now. The main benefits of this is the 12K carbon, which is gonna give you loads of power and it's really strong and durable, gonna increase the lifespan of the racket. It also has the ultra soft feel, so it does feel really, really comfortable on court. Carbon is often quite hard. This is really soft, so it feels nice in your hand. Also comes with a rough surface, so you can get more spin on the ball if you wanna play with slice and top spin. So I think the main thing about the Dunlop Aerostar Lite is it's so well priced for how much power the materials and sort of the strength of the racket. Um, usually it'll be priced a lot higher than this, but it feels great in the hand and this is why I think it's gonna be ideal for intermediate players. Oh. Good spin, can grip the ball quite heavily. Good power, but the ultra soft feel is really evident. So it does feel nice on my arm doesn't feel too hard, it's gonna, it gives me high comfort. Again, I think another reason why you give it to an intermediate player, someone that wants to an upgrade, use something more powerful, but also doesn't wanna lose that comfort they had with their maybe previous racket or from other racket sports. Ah. Best paddle racket for advanced now, it's the Adidas Metal Bone. I'm currently using this racket myself, absolutely love it. So this one is obviously incredibly powerful, diamond shaped with a sweet spot at the top. It has a rough surface as well to get extra spin, but it also has six customizable weights. So you're in charge of how heavy or light you want this racket. You can make it lighter, you can make it heavier, you can make the balance feel more head heavy to give you more power or make it feel more comfortable altogether. It's this one, the normal one has quite a soft feel and I personally like that because it gives me a little bit more comfort on court. Um, but overall, it's incredibly powerful. It's got high control and it's one of the best rackets out there. So obviously I know this racket is incredibly powerful, so I'll just show some smashes with it. You can get fairly good kick on it, good power. It's got good strength as well. The ball does fly off the racket fast, especially if you get it right in the sweet spot. Let's try some volleys with the metal bone now. Obviously one of the most important shots for an advanced racket. A little bit. Ah. Ah. So yeah, the main thing I like about it is that you can get well a, a lot of power, but it also, because of the slightly softer feel on this metal bone, feels nice and comfortable as well. It doesn't feel like hard on your arm when you hit the ball. That's why I like this racket. And also you can, you can grip the ball so much as well to generate a load of spin. The ball just dies at the back of the court with the spin blade technologies it has. So you can do both. You can go for the smash or you can go for a, like a really tough volley to get back. Next up is the best paddle racket from Control and I've chosen the Ball Paddle Hack 03 Control. First of all, this racket looks incredible. This nearly got best paddle racket for design. 
feels amazing in my hand. Um, the main benefits of the control is the round shape with the, obviously the centered sweet spot and low balance that maximizes the control. The material uses the tri-carbon, which is something uh, specific to ball paddle, where they have obviously high power and high durability. So don't worry, you will get power as well. But from testing this on court, I felt I got so much control with it. The ball paddle rackets also come with the Hesacore grip. This is again another thing specific to ball paddle, where this gives you more comfort, more control, and it uh, sends less vibrations to your arm as well, better for tennis elbow. This is how much control the ball paddle hat control has. Right, I'm gonna practice some bandekas slash viboras with the ball paddle hat control now. Ah. Ah. So if you prefer to play this type of shot instead of the smash, then definitely go for this one. The control on it, you can just send it straight down the middle, good length, good depth, that's gonna keep the opponents back and it's gonna be very hard for them to attack you with it. Also very good for drop shots. Oh. Next up is the best paddle racket for power and I've gone with the Addy Power 3.1 2022. So this one feels incredibly powerful. It's got head heavy balance, the sweet spot is right at the top, but it also has a very rough and grippy surface. So this is ideal for the, the kick smash, the top spin smash. Carbon surface, carbon frame and a high memory core. It has a very hard feel, which again, it's gonna feel like the ball's flying off the edge of the racket. For me, this is the best racket for the kick smash and being able to just pop the ball out of the court. All right, anyone that knows me knows that I'm terrible at kicking the ball out the court. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is with the Addy Power. Oh, it's the, it's the diamond shape, it's the head heavy balance, it just, it's also the rough surface as well because I feel like I can just kick it easily. Um, it's ideal for this. Ah, oh. Unreal. Next up is the best paddle racket for comfort and I've gone with the Ball Paddle BP10 Evo. Now for me, if I want high comfort, I want to use something round, soft feeling, uh, low balance, control base, with a sweet spot in the middle and a smooth surface as well. These all give me ultimate comfort on court. So it's the foam inside of this racket as well that is very, very soft. So if you choose a racket mostly on comfort, you're probably looking for something that's not gonna hurt your arm too much. It's gonna be very good for tennis elbow players or for players that just wanna have a lot of fun on court. Right, let's give the BP10 Evo a go. So again, I'm gonna have some defensive shots. Please, Aaron, thanks. So again, this feels nice, very soft. Doesn't ache my arm at all. This would be good for coaches and players that just want to have fun. Very easy to use, big sweet spot. Great for comfort. Players with tennis elbow are like this. Not bad on power either. One more please. Perfect, best for comfort in my opinion. Next one is the best paddle racket for design. Now this was a tough one, but I'm going with the Knox Tempo World Paddle Tour. This one just looks incredible. It feels so luxury. It also comes in a luxury leather case. So you're really right for the top end players that want something incredible. Um, the actual racket itself is also fantastic. This is a teardrop shape. Um, you're gonna get a very good mix of power control. Knox have said this year that they have, this one has 9.5 power and 9.5 control. Also with the carbon frames, it's very strong and durable, carbon 12K surface, and also an anti-vibration system. So this one um, will reduce the vibration to your arm. Again, good for tennis elbow. But overall design-wise, I think Knox have absolutely smashed it this year. It looks fantastic. So another thing this racket has is the smart strap system. So you can replace the strap and sort of adjust that for your own need. Uh, let's practice some volleys with it though. Aaron, if you want to feed me. Oh. Yeah, good, definitely feeling the mix of power and control. I do feel good, good power. When you hit it right in the sweet spot on the teardrop shape, that's when the power excels the most. You feel the carbon, which is obviously very strong and powerful, 
but also tried a couple drop shots, tried some slower ones as well, and you get that. So this is a very good all-round racket, but for me, the main benefit is the design. It looks amazing. Next is the best paddle racket for juniors slash tennis elbow. So the Knox Ultralight fits both. So obviously it has a slightly smaller handle, which is ideal for a child's hand, and it's very, very lightweight as well. However, I know so many people that use this racket because of how light it is, because it's soft, it's round, it's easy to use. They use it on court when they have had tennis elbow. Lots of players that just need something very, very easy to use and struggle with the weight of paddle rackets because some of them are quite heavy, will go with the Knox Ultralight. But this is also good for junior players, um, kids that have just started the game and need something fairly light, fairly easy to keep them holding the racket up. This is ideal. It's the Knox Ultralight now. Can feel straight away that it's very, very light, man. I've got a very fast swing here. Oh, wow. So obviously you're not going to get as much power on this one as you would with a normal racket because it's so much lighter. However, it's ideal for those junior players or players with tennis elbow. Ah, not bad on the power sometimes actually. So yeah, it doesn't ache my arm at all. It's very, very light, has a soft feel and a big sweet spot. So perfect for either junior players or players with tennis elbow. So guys, those are the best paddle rackets 2022. Let me know if you've got any questions at all. I'll, I'll go through the comments of this, but also you can text me on WhatsApp and you can also email me. That goes for if you just want help choosing a paddle racket anyway, I can help you with all of that. I might have missed some rackets out that you guys wanted uh, reviewing, so let me know and I can get onto that in future videos. But in my opinion, these are the best rackets for this year. A lot of them tick the boxes of high control, high comfort and high power which is and high spin as well, which is really, really important. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing, it's free. You'll see more videos like this and it helps my business grow. Thanks.